Hello everybody, this is Lass again, and today we're going to do a multiplayer tutorial. Uh, next tutorial will probably be a Minecraft tutorial uh, again, but today we're just going to... Uh, today we're just going to start with a multiplayer tutorial. So, uh, basically, we are going to create a new scene. I will do that now. Okay, we have a new scene and just add a floor to it, you know what to do, you know, put it into 0, um, 20, 20, add a nice line to it, just think like directional line, just like that, okay, now everything is done. Now the first thing we're going to do is a spawn, creating a spawn script. Now, I know I did this in the last video too, but, or in the first one, yeah, yeah, but, oh, no, I don't want that, but we are, today we're going to create something new, you know, I know some of you guys probably had some problems with the animation, um, with the camera, you know, there were some bugs in that, so we're going to fix that, and to do that we are going to create a new script create javascript and we're going to call it spawn network we're going to call it network spawn Net spawn okay open that up mm, just like that new script and we basically can delete the start function and change the update function into a on GUI function. Now first thing you're going to do is create a button and you're going to call it GUI dot button correct you know I just say you're going to do this in and y axis, uh, we were just going to create a 10, comma 10, we're going to create 60 long and 20. Um, then we're going to call this button spawn. Yeah, forgot. Uh, just create an if, make it an if, just like that. Some brackets. Okay, and now we're going to create a new variable. And we're going to call this for dot network player. Oh, that's already a variable network player. Okay, and it's going to be game object. So just type game object. Create another variable for and call this one local player. And this also will be a game object. Now, basically, what you will do is you will <coughs> the local player will be the player with the camera and the one you will see or the one you will you will control. The network player will be the player that the other ones see and other one people will shoot at. So you save that up and you type in instantiate instantiate close it. Um yeah, don't need too hard. Um and say um local player local player comma transform transform dot position dot transform dot rotation rotation um 
Come on. Quaternion. Quaternion. Identity. Um, quaternion basically is the Greek word for rotations. Uh, save that up, see if you won't get any error. Oh, and of course, don't forget this. Um, apparently we did something wrong. Check the website. I'm always a good example to check out the website. Okay. Um. Object of insensitive. Oh, apparently you don't need to capture your identity anymore. That's something new. Well, let's save that up. And it's working. Okay, so apparently you don't need the Quaternion identity anymore. I thought you need to. Well, that doesn't really matter. Okay, just copy that. Copy and then paste it. And you're going to type network network dot instantiate and then you also gonna add a zero. Oh what this basically means is the first one will only instantiate in your scene and the other one will instantiate on the network so in every scene of everybody who joined. And you're going to also change the local player into the network network player. And this should be it. Uh, so let's test that out. Uh, create an empty game object. Call it spawn and just add our spawn script. Now it's spawn in here. Okay, that was that. Uh, now we're going to create the player. Our player is going to be a very simple capsule. And we're going to put a station zero, zero, zero. We will add a charge controller to the charge controller. Now it will uh, ask you to replace, add, or cancel, and just hit replace. Um, check if the uh, mesh is good, if the colliders are good, and they are. And then just add the FPS walker script. Uh, for the people, we do not have that, it should be in the standard assets. So just import standard assets and you should have it in there. If you don't, just leave a comment and I will upload the script on and I will upload the script on Mediafire or something. And you know, then you can be downloaded. So just check if come on, I don't want to see that message. Just check if the speed and your know, jump speed and your know, gravity is good. And normally, for our purposes, everything is right. Then open up the FPS Walker script. It shouldn't be too hard to edit. We're now just going to change it to. Let's see how many minutes we already got. Okay, I only have 10 minutes, so I'm just gonna pause it and just gonna make part, second part. So 